Are you interested in effortlessly creating deepfake video face swaps using stable diffusion? You've come to the right place. This video will assist you in navigating and installing the necessary extensions for achieving stunning video face swaps. Don't hesitate any longer, let's get started right away. Prior to diving into the creation of remarkable video face swaps, it's essential to have specific extensions installed. The following extensions are required. Requirement 1, Roop Extension. If you haven't installed the Roop Extension yet, there's no need to worry. We've provided a detailed tutorial on how to install and utilize the Roop Extension. The link is in the description. Requirement 2, Next View Extension. If you want to efficiently transform an original video into an image sequence and subsequently convert the face swapped images back into a video, all without exiting the stable diffusion interface, the Next View extension is your ideal choice. More information can be found on the Next View GitHub page. The link is in the description. Requirement 3 Initial Video. Make sure you possess an initial video to initiate the face swap process. With all the requirements in place, we can proceed to open up the Stable Diffusion UI. Before we proceed, it's crucial to ensure that specific global settings are correctly configured. These global stable diffusion settings play a vital role in guaranteeing the accuracy of the names for the face swapped image sequence. First, navigate within stable diffusion to the settings tab. Click on saving images grid in the left sidebar. Confirm that the file format for images is set to PNG. Ensure the images file name pattern field is left empty, and make sure the option for adding a number to the file name when saving is unchecked. After configuring the settings correctly, select Apply Settings followed by clicking on Reload UI. Next, once all the specified requirements are successfully installed and the global stable diffusion settings are correctly configured, the procedure will commence by accessing the Next View extension in the top nav bar. Place your initial video onto the canvas within the Next View extension and click on the Generate Image Sequence button. After the process is complete, you will be given a file location containing all the generated images extracted from the video. You can now proceed to copy this file location, which will enable you to utilize the image sequence for batch processing within the Image to Image tab. After copying the file location containing the image sequence extracted from the video file using the Next View extension, you can move on to the Image to Image Batch tab. In the Image to Image Batch subtab, paste the file location into the Input Directory field. Choose a suitable location for the Output Directory. This is where all the batch face swapped images will be stored. The location you entered in the Output Directory will be used later to convert the images into a video with the Next View extension. Let's move on to the settings in the Image to Image tab. For the checkpoint, we will use Realistic Vision. For the sampling method, we will use Euler A. And for the sampling steps, we will set this to 30. Make sure the denoising strength is set to 0. We've set denoising to 0 because our intention is to preserve the image sequence as is, without altering anything except for the face with the Roop extension later on. Make sure the seed is set to minus one and for the width and height, make sure that the video ratio aligns with the image sequence you supplied earlier. In our case, this ratio is 916. Now that we have these settings in place, we can transition to the following stage, which entails employing the Roop extension for face swapping. Hopefully, you already have a fantastic face in mind for the face swap. Let's move forward. For this tutorial, We've selected the stunning face portrait of Salma Hayek as our choice. And of course, remember don't forget to enable the Roop extension. Now, click the Generate button and patiently await as your image sequence goes through the face swapping process using the face image you've provided on the Roop extension canvas. Once everything has finished rendering, proceed by copying the output directory file location where the face swapped images are stored. Now navigate to the Next View extension in the top nav bar within Stable Diffusion. In the Next View extension, go to the Image Sequence 2 Video tab and paste the file location into the Image Sequence Location text field. Then click Generate Video to convert the face swapped image sequence into a video. The output location of the video will be the following Stable Diffusion Web UI Extensions Next View Output Videos. If you followed this tutorial accurately, you should have successfully created a face swapped video with the face you provided in the Roop extension. In our case, we have created a deepfake video of the beauty of Salma Hayek.
let's enjoy this view for a moment. While you enjoy the view, just leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We trust that this guide has provided you with valuable insights and assistance in your exploration of the potential of deepfake video face swaps. Embrace your creative ventures and enjoy the journey, and we will see you in the next one.